Hey guys, so this is a request that um, someone on Instagram left me months ago. So Vita Bella 79 thank you. Um, I'm finally doing this. <laughs> um, she asked me to share what's in like my makeup journal, kind of notebook kind of a thing. Um, so I thought that was a really great idea and I want to share with you guys once I kind of had it a little bit more well established. So this is just a little notebook I got. It says be true to who you are um, with some cute little floral prints. I always get all my journals and like notebooks and stuff from TJ Maxx. I think it's a great place to find some really cute things. Um, this was $4.99. It's a pretty big size and it is ruled, um, you know, with lines and stuff. So when you first open it up, I do make a table of contents. And so I just write table of contents. I do the page number. Um, that you know everything is on and then what is on that page number so it's really easy for me to find um, so the first first um, let's see five pages or so are all about like my inventory so this one right here this is my just raw numbers and as you can see there's a lot of highlightedness so basically what I do is I have my category listed out and then I write like January, March, you know, June, September, whatever. However, whatever month I like to do mine quarterly just for myself. Um, so then I tr I write down how much I have, you know, what numbers I have. And then I highlight in pink if my number goes up and I highlight in orange if my number goes down. So it's just a quick visual for me to see how I'm doing, um, you know, stuff like that. So I just compare it to the previous month. I don't compare it like overall or anything. I think that would get too complicated. So like this column here is compared to this one and this one to this one and so on. Um, and then I also include like the total number of like makeup items, the percentage that are cruelty free, non cruelty free, stuff like that, things that matter to me. So obviously, you know, if you're making something like this, do what matters to you. If you don't care about cruelty free, that's fine. Um, I do, so I like to keep track of it. So that is just like my raw numbers, like how many concealers do you have and stuff like that. The next page um, is the weight. As a lot of you know, if you've been following me, um, I weigh out my makeup products on my food scale. Um, so I weigh it out in grams. It's just easier for me um, to keep track of it. So I do the same thing. I have it all by category um, and I write out my numbers each time I do it. Yell or I'm sorry. Orange means that my number went down, which means I'm using it more, you know, stuff like that. And pink means that my number went up, which means I probably bought something. So, yeah, that is how I keep track of that. All right, this next one is money, which I know some people think is silly, but I kind of like to keep track of what my collection is worth, I guess. I mean, not that it really matters. It just makes me realize I've spent a lot of money on makeup. Um, and I do the retail value. So if I get a sale, if I use a coupon, if I get a deal, if I find it somewhere else, you know, whatever, I don't include that. Um, I keep track of that somewhere else because that's just great. But I think just like value wise, I, I think it's just easiest to keep track of it retail value. So that's why I did same thing, a category, and then I write my numbers and then, you know, pink means up and, um, orange means down, you know, however I'm doing. So over the year, I've been using a lot of things up. I've also decluttered and purged quite a few things, and I've just really cut back on buying things. So I have seen all of my numbers pretty much go down, which is really, really nice. Um, this is a new one to me. This is um, something I added in kind of later, but this is the amount of grams used up in each category, um, and I just do it month by month. Um, <clears throat> so I just thought this would be kind of be fun to keep track of, like between... January and March, I used up 17 grams worth of primer. Like, I just think that's, like, cool. I'm a little bit weird about, like, spreadsheets and charts. I love that stuff. So, um, same basic principle here. You know, pink is up and um, orange is down. And so, in this case, I do want it to go up. I want to be using more. Um, okay, and this one is brands. So, I have all my brands listed out that I've, you know, come in contact with, had, whatever. So as you can see, there's some that are highlighted yellow all the way across. Those are non-cruelty free brands. So I highlighted all the way across because my goal was to get rid of them, to use them up, to purge them, to whatever, to not have them in my collection. And this is a very easy way for me to just see that. Um, and then I do the same thing. I just count my numbers and keep track of it that way. <clears throat> and then I have it on the back as well because I, you know, got some new brands here and there. Okay, so next I have my empties. So this is just for empty makeup and so basically what it says is I just have the month and I put a box around it and then I list the product I finished up 
And then I put the dollar amount and how many grams. Um, so the dollar amount is the retail value. Again, I don't keep track of, I mean, I do keep track of if I got a sale or not, but I'm not going to keep track of it that intense, you know? Um, so I just do this for every month that I finish up makeup, which has been most months. So I have a front page and a back page. And then I did leave a page here in between in case if I needed it, because I would hate to run out of space. And then here, very, very similar. This is the makeup I've bought, which I know is still a you know full page and everything. And I have bought a lot of replacement items and stuff like that. Um, so basically I have the retail value um, is this first column. And then the second column is the amount I saved. So if I got a deal or anything, that's when I would put how much money I've saved. And then at the end of the year, I kind of want to add up and just see like, how much, you know, how good of a sale shopper was I? And overall, like what percentage did I save? I don't know, I just think it'd be cool. So I did just have an extra blank page there in case if I need it. Next, I have my project use it up goals. And this will probably look familiar. I did the same kind of thing last year where I had my goals and then I have boxes that I check off. Um, I have been keeping my individual lists on my laptop, um, just in an Excel spreadsheet. It's just easier for me. Um, but I do like having it written out like this. It's very visual for me to just see how many boxes are checked off. So I have been doing that again, and it just makes me happy to cross off boxes. <clears throat> this is a, so now we're getting into like projects I've done. So this is a project that I'm just, I haven't done an update for really. This is my finished 16 in 2016. So I picked 16 products at the beginning of the year. I've just kind of kept track of what happens to them. I have purged some, some have expired things happen. So I'm just kept this list at the end of the year. I will, you know, do a video to just see how I did over the year. But yeah, I just have my list of products and then whatever happened to them over there. This is my list for finished five by finals, which was in the spring. So um, I had my five items and then I put the date that I finished them if I finished them. So I finished three out of the five. So I just put the date there. So I would remember for my updates. This is seven summer flings, same sort of thing. I have my list and then just the date that I finished things up and then I put the end date down here just so I knew when I was done with the project. This one is my rolling five pan project. So this is one that I'm currently doing. Um, so what I do is I have the item listed out. I put the date that I started the item. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I put the gram and then the date. And then I put an arrow and then I put the date and the weight of the item when I finish it or whatever. So like some of these, I just wanted to hit pan on. So the item is out of my project once I hit pan on it, but that doesn't mean I'm done with it completely, you know? So um, this is one that I'm currently using right now. And then on the back side, I have some lines, you know, for updates and stuff like that, just on the back page there. So it's easy to find for me. And then, <coughs> excuse me, this is a list of videos I want to film in September. So I put dates I kind of wanted to have things up and then just um, video ideas and, you know, kind of like projects. So I stayed on track with, you know, updating and stuff like that. And then this is the same thing for October, which, um, you know, is the month we're currently in. So I have my list for things I'd like to have out. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And then this is something I just added in. This is the pro or projects products I've hit pan on. Um, and so in my big spreadsheet of my makeup inventory, I have every single item listed out. And then as I finish them, I highlight them in different colors. I should do a video on that, how I do it online or not online, but on my computer. Um, but anyway, I kept track of every time I hit pan on something. So I have my list from 2015 that I still like those products are still in my collection. So I put them up here. And then these are the products that I've hit pan on this year, which I just thought would be fun to keep track of. So I have to pan on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and two of them I have finished. So that's pretty cool. Um, I just thought it'd be fun. And then this is my pan that palette progress tracker. Um, so this is for the uh, Tarte Bay Magnificent palette that I'm panning. So I have every color listed out across the top there. Um, and then I have each month this way. So I have like January and I hit pan on the cream, but nothing else. And just every month I fill this out. Um, the highlighted yellow is when I hit a goal for my project. So some of them I just want to hit pan on. Some of them I want to finish up. And then I also have um, the weight of the palette as the months go on. So this is just to help me remember what I had already hit pan on last month, um, what the weight was so I can update you in that, um, you know, for my videos and stuff. And that is it for my notebook. Um, obviously you could add anything you want to a 
beauty notebook like this. I think it's really nice to have one. Um, I think keeping track of empties is cool. I know I save my makeup empties and make a big video at the end of the year, but if you don't make videos or you don't want to, you know, save your trash for that long, I totally understand. And just making a list of, you know, like the things that you finished could be really um, fulfilling and make you feel pretty like accomplished at the end of the year so thank you again uh, for requesting this I, I'm very appreciative of your idea I think it's a great one um, and I would love to know what people you know what you guys put in your notebooks if you have one kind of like dedicated to your like your beauty stuff or project pans or anything like that I would love to know what you put in there that maybe I don't have um, I think it would be a cool idea to kind of see what other people are doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you ever have any video requests, please let me know anytime in a Instagram comment or a she direct message me on Instagram, which is always fine, or um, like in the comments down below. I'd love to read them. So I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.